warm, advanced articulators welcome to competent communicator, area governor, Brenda Alco, for her presentation, We the People. Brenda! gentlemen, you are more inclined to listen to the wise words of your mothers than that of your wives. In 1920, the 
the Senate was split. It was 48 to 48. Those who were against it were one color rose. Those who were for it, one another color rose. It was tense. There was debate. There was arguments. The parliamentary procedures that it was founded on went through the wind. But it was still 48 to 48. Then, a young senator from Tennessee, sweating bullets, I can assure you, felt the breast pocket of his jacket where lay a letter from his mother, seven pages long. During those seven pages, she wrote two sentences. Be a good boy and, wrote, and vote for the suffrage to allow women the right to vote. We won the right to vote in 1920, 47 to 49. While the words of our Declaration of Independence, our Constitution, are eloquent, sometimes I think that the part of this 15th Amendment, 19th Amendment, that gave us the right to vote smacked a little bit of sarcasm. That they are still every bit as powerful. The 19th Amendment, Section 1, states, The right of citizens of the United States to vote shall not be abridged by the United States or any state on account of sex. I have a gratitude of thanks for a young man listening to the words of his mother so that we the people are truly we the people. So I do thank Mrs. Beth Esninger Byrne. Thank you.